let's take a quick look at multi-regression in scikit-learn. Okay, so we, we're starting to set up here for an experiment. I'm doing the standard selection of the data that we've done multiple times during this set of videos. Uh, the only difference here is the output. You'll notice that we're selecting single fold, which gives us a not a, uh, a single vector, but we now have a, a full matrix. So let's look at that dimensionality. Okay, so uh, we still have our 1193 uh, rows, but now we have two columns. And what's nice is that uh, for example, the linear regression class understands multi-regression. So now we can do a model 9.fit on the ins and the outs. And then look at what the model does with the, those training inputs. And, uh, and, and indeed the model does what we expect it to do. We have a, a prediction that is a matrix that's the same dimensionality as the desired output. All right, we'd like to see what the uh, predictions look like. Uh, here's the code to do that. In, in my case, what I'm doing is uh, explicitly splitting out uh, the prediction for the shoulder and the prediction for the elbow and coloring those differently. You can, <clears throat> you can hand uh, matplotlib.plot an entire matrix and it will, uh, it will plot a set of curves for you and assign different colors to the different curves. I just want a little bit more control here. So let's go ahead and execute that. And there are, there are, are our predictions for seconds 30 through 40. We can also overlay on top of this the original. And let's do dash lines for that. I'm going to do the same thing here. Okay, so, so I've added two more curves. The dashed lines are ground truth and the solid lines are the predictions that we've made. And we, we are looking at the predictions on the data set that we trained on. So uh, performance uh, looks quite good here, uh, but we're still in this realm uh, of really overfitting our, uh, our training data because we are only using one fold for the training process. But this is uh, sufficient to uh, demonstrate that linear regression, and it turns out SGD regression and other regression methods can actually handle vectorial outputs as well. 